Hello, what's up brothers and sisters? I hope you're all doing great through the mercy and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Joseph and please, I want you to listen to this message that I'm going to share with you. Every blessed day, God keeps giving warnings to people concerning something that is coming to the states of America. And I know a lot of you will probably be fed up because there are a lot of warnings and messages that people keep bringing about the United States of America. You do not need to get fed up with these messages. One thing you need to know just like the brother stated in his vision is that God sends so many warnings to people before he allows certain things to happen the reason why God is sending these messages is because God wants you to come out of where you are the people of America you will agree with me that the nation that used to be God's nation has rather been turned to the opposite and there are so many evil stars going on and if you read the Bible you know what happens to God's people when they try to turn away from him so do not take these messages lightly and do not think that people are just coming up with messages just to put fear in people or just to you know create attention no if you are that type of person that think that way you need to be careful you need to start getting into prayer and ask god for him to give you a confirmation if you ask god for a confirmation he's going to give you a vision just like he has given to other people okay so please i want you to pay attention this has to do with six cities in the united states but there are other couple of revelations that he gave this is very detailed if you are in the country of america i do not want you to miss any part of this message that our brother is going to share with us i'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description section where you can actually follow him because i believe he has other important messages which you can go there to listen to his message okay so please pray over this message and seek discernment from god if you have any vision if you have any message if you have any testimony from the lord you would want to share with us please feel free to pick up my email address in the description section of the video and then record a video or an audio of your message and then send it in once i receive permission from the lord i am going to put your message on the channel thank you and god bless you Hey everybody, welcome back to Sound the Alarm End Time Ministries. I am Christopher Gallagher, and today is Sunday, October 13th, 2024. It has been a little while since I've been on here, um, but the Lord has definitely put some things in my heart to share with you guys. Some pretty important stuff. Um, as you know, this channel is um, about sharing uh, dreams that the Lord's given me, uh, specifically uh, judgment type dreams. And yes, I understand that's not, you know, um, exactly what everyone wants to hear, but it is scripture and God does tell his people um, ahead of time before that, before the judgment actually hits. So today, um, before I get started, I do want to give um, a couple of recommendations uh, to a couple of channels uh, that does the same type of thing with other people's uh, dreams and uh, things that they've seen that are about to take place. Uh, one of them is Cloud9 Blessings. Uh, if you want to check their channel out sometime, it's Amber uh, who, who puts that channel together and puts people's dreams and visions out there. The other one is Uplifted. Now check those out, guys. And like anything else, even what I'm putting out, measure it up against the Word of God. The Word of God should be anyway our final authority in all matters of faith and practice, faith and living. The Word of God is final. If anything that's put out there contradicts anything that's here in the Word, it's not from God, and it's really that simple. So I'll start off with this one, and this is a new, uh, a fairly recent dream that I had that I haven't put out yet. It was interesting. And then after that, I'm going to share with you some other dreams that I've had prior uh, and the Lord wants me to bring these back up again, and I'll explain why when I get there. So this new one um, is very interesting. I haven't had one like this before, but we in our country, um, we were at a position where something happened, something significant happened on our soil. And there was two, and, and there, I was at a roadblock um, indicating that I, I could only go so far. They would not let me leave the area. It almost sounds like the 15-minute cities kind of thing going on, but either way, there were there were two African military police 
men on our soil at this roadblock. And I was there, and they were not letting me get by. But I could see behind them, and something racing towards them at an incredibly high speed. And it was about to hit them, and they had no idea what was coming. And I can't even really tell you specifically what I saw. I just knew what was coming. Two things. Rapture, tribulation. Rapture, tribulation. Barreling at an incredibly high speed right towards these guys, and they had no idea what was coming. I tried to tell them. I, I tried to warn them what was coming, specifically, you know, the rapture deliverance for the church, but judgment for those left behind. And they seemed as if, you know, that they were mocking me for for even thinking of such a thing. Laughing, mocking about it. All right. So then at that point in the dream, the Holy Spirit had told me just to share the gospel with them at that point. Yes, we should warn people. And again, that's what this channel is all about. Sound the alarm. And, and the Lord put that on my heart, I think, six going on seven years ago now that the channel has been out there. Sound the alarm. Warn the people. Judgment is coming. And uh, so you, you can tell people that all you want to, and you're going to have your scoffers and your mockers, and they're just not going to listen to what you have to say. All of God's word, all of the prophecies of God's word have come true. And the prophecies that have yet to be fulfilled, they're going to come true as well. And that includes a seven-year tribulation period, the worst time the world has ever seen or ever will see again. It, it involves the return of the Lord Jesus Christ via the rapture, and then ultimately the second coming and the establishing of the millennial kingdom, a thousand-year reign of Christ. That All of that stuff is yet to be fulfilled. They seem to mock that. So at that point, the Holy Spirit just said, share the gospel with them. Time, we're so close. We are so close to the, to the tribulation starting and judgment beginning that share the gospel. And even then, when I shared with these two guys the gospel, I was just telling them the gospel. Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You need to receive that. You need to receive Christ as your Savior. And they still weren't listening. And then that was it. The dream was over. So, again, I can't emphasize the importance of, yes, continue to warn people uh, that judgment is coming. And, again, this one was, was, was specifically for America. Again, judgment is going to be global at some point. Yes, I, I wouldn't argue that. In fact, that's why I teach. Uh, Revelation 6 through 19, specifically Matthew 24 and others, teach about a global judgment that's coming. Um, but the, what the Lord has shown me, and I, pretty much every dream that I've had, is specifically due to the United States, for the United States, what's going to happen here in this once great country of ours. And I still do think this, this country is great, I do. But we have gone far away from the greatness that we once were. So, these things are about to take place, in my opinion. And no, I can't give you a specific date. I cannot. I don't, I don't know when. I'm suspicious that things could kick in any time now, and I think a lot of people are because the election's literally just weeks away. That these things, something's going to go down very soon. And, and we, I, you know, people that get on YouTube all the time have their intel, and then who, you know, what they're telling them, and that's going down. And you know, the only thing I can tell you is what the Lord's put on my heart is soon, and very soon that this stuff is going to go down. Um, he gives me warning dreams. I, you know, going back six, seven years or, or more, and then there's some people that have been on YouTube giving warnings out longer than that. God gives plenty of warnings before things happen, so don't be discouraged. You know, if it's for, for some of you guys that have been putting videos out there because of the mockers that are saying, "Well, you said something was going to happen," you know, uh, soon. Listen. It, we don't know the exact time things are going to happen, but we're giving you warning to prepare your heart for what's coming. Um, so let me get into the other dreams here that, that I want that the Lord's brought back to my attention to give you guys because these I think are very soon as well. The first segment here that I want to do these recap dreams are the nuke dreams that I've had, the nuclear war dreams that I have had. There's three of them. 
The first, the first one that I had a long time ago was very specific to New York City. So my family and I, there was a, a bunch of us all in one vehicle. We're heading down to New York City, and we weren't far from it. And we were going down specifically to see a, a Yankees game. And uh, like, like I said, we weren't too far from it. We had, we had stopped at a store to get some things to take to the, into the city with us. And we got out of the car. We were about to head into the grocery store, and there was a ton of people out in the parking lot just, you know, just looking off into the distance, which was the skyline of New York City. And I just didn't think anything of it. But they were standing there. Some had, they just had groceries in their hands. Some of them dropped what they had. They were, they were looking in awe of what was going on. And, and I still was like, well, what's, what are, what's, that, what's the problem here, you know? So that finally got my attention to, to look over that way in the city. And, and all you saw, you got the New York City skyline, all you saw was just a huge mushroom cloud that came up over the top of the city and they were hit. And I, I can't, I'm trying to remember, you know, if I'd said anything else at that point, but just remember being in awe of what I saw, just the fear um, that one would experience having seen something like that. So we got, I remember getting back into our vehicle, obviously, and we were heading back away from the city again. I remember looking in my rear view mirror, seeing that it was behind us. And again, it didn't, it didn't touch us at all. That one was specific to New York City. Now, the next one that I had, this was, again, another, it was a beautiful day. I go outside just to kind of look at the, the sky and see what's going on. Nice, peaceful day. And off in the distance, I saw, you know, this huge cloud formation, uh, just huge, tall cloud formation standing up. And I was like, well, that's interesting cloud formation but it looked, to me it was pretty cool looking <laughs> and i realized well wait a minute yeah you know, it, it kept it, it was slowly moving but it kept moving then i realized wait a minute that's not a cloud formation and that's that's a nuclear bomb that went off and then right next to that another one went off and then on the other side of that another one went off and then another then another and another and then ultimately it ended up being six cities specifically six cities but I was not given what cities those were. I've heard other people uh, share their dreams about six cities getting hit, and they did name the cities. I'm not going to name them because it's not that's their that's their thing. I'm not going to say what they said. All I know is this one was specific for six cities. The third one I had was a, one very similar to the six city one, where I was outside, and and this one was kind of like a. Um, another type of a family event type of thing. We're family, and we're just going about our daily lives. I mean, there was nothing uh, that was, you know, pressing or anything serious going on. It was like suddenly. And I, and I think of that passage, um, in, is it first, uh, first Thessalonians where it talks about when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them. And that's, it reminded me of that because it was, it seemed to be a, you know, peaceful type of setting. Then off in the distance, again, there, but this, it seemed to be quicker. There was just a bunch of, you know, mushroom clouds going off. At, at wherever I turned, there, there seemed to be all over the place. So that one was not a specific number, but multiple cities being hit. And so what do I make of all these three? Are they separate? Is New York going to get hit separately than six cities getting hit? Is New York included in the six cities? Is there different waves? Is there six at one time and then another another wave of multiple cities getting, getting hit? I'm not sure. But what I do know is this is devastating destruction coming on, and it's literal. There's nothing symbolic meant by this. This 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 is going to happen, folks. And I'll, I'll get into that a little bit more here in a minute. The next one I wanted to share, the next segment of this recap dream was the Red Dawn dreams that I've had. And I've had, I believe, six of those where we are attacked on our soil. I have heard many people say over the years, since I've been doing this, we'll, we will never get attacked on our soil. 
There's too many people with guns here. It will never get attacked on our soil. It will never happen here. We're the great United States. We're too powerful. Okay, you you believe whatever you want to believe. Do you really think that? Okay, I'm telling you, at some point, we are going to get attacked on our soil. And it's, I believe it's going to involve the nukes that I just talked about. It's going to involve the Red Dawn type of attacks. The, new, the, the United States, folks, needs to be brought to its knees if there is going to be a global agenda, a global um, government, that we can't be what we are today. We need to be brought to our knees. The financial system, all of that's going to come down and there will be a global financial system and a global government, just like Scripture prophesies. And, of course, there will be a global type of religion, too. Uh, which I won't get into today, but maybe in the near future I can do something like that and show you what that's all about. So these Red Dawn dreams, six of them, just, and I'm specifically, I won't go through all of them, but just going outside and um, seeing the sky fill up with war-type planes and a uh, pretty horrific scene. A bunch of them I thought that came by, as, at first I thought there was like an air show or something going on, but oh. That's not what was going on. And then they filled the sky. There was parachuters coming down, you know, and, and then they were shooting on the way down. And, and that and just like you would see in the movie, the Red Dawn movies that are out there. Same thing, but on our soil and on a much larger scale. One of them was that night I saw. I can, I can say that about it specifically. There was, there was one in there that was nighttime, clear sky, stars sh shining. So one was that night, but the other seemed to be during the day. Multiple dreams of Red Dawn events, maybe multiple occasions that that's going to happen. Maybe that's going to come in waves too, and I tend to think that's what it is. Also concerning attack on our soil, the third segment was the um, drone dreams. These I had before I heard any mention of, of drones, uptick in drone use for in war time stuff, and now it's talked about quite a bit. And, and one specific one that I had there with that one with the, the drone dreams was uh, me, again, sitting out on another peaceful type of day, just sitting in a lawn chair, just, just relaxing. And I was near a building that had like a porch cover on it. And then here they came and they filled the sky and they were weaponized and, and, and shooting at us. And it all seemed to happen at once. And suddenly, quickly, boom, it happened. And I remember... You know, a kid crying, kids were crying, and I grabbed whatever kid I could and then hid underneath the porch, and they were they were firing down on us, and we were attacked. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. Again, I know there's going to be scoffers and mockers and people that don't believe it. You Fine, you don't have to believe it. That's not going to stop me from putting the warning out that it's coming. You laugh all the way up till it actually happens. My hope and prayer is that you receive Christ before that. If not, maybe something will wake you up and, and uh, to the point where you would receive Christ as your Savior. Because that's really the only thing that's going to save you. Uh, there is no one in office. You know, we have, again, we have the election coming up. And I'm going to make a separate video on that one, too. Um, there's no one's going to save us, guys. There's too many Christians from what I see out there that are putting a lot of faith in Trump, some even Harris, whatever, that that's going to save the day. We're going to be all set. America's going to go back to what it was, and and that, that's just not that's not the case. I'll get into that some other time, some other video. So, what now? What I want to add here to this thing, it's not going to be a real long video, but what I want to add here to this is again. When judgment comes on the global scale, again, you guys, if you know me, you know I'm pre-trib, and I do have a couple videos on my channel to check them out to see why I believe in, in the pre-trib rapture. We will not face the global judgment that God is going to pour out on this planet that you find in Revelation chapter 6 through 19. We're not here for that. We've already, the, the wrath has already been taken once you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are no longer abiding under God's wrath, John 3, 36. You're under the cross where the wrath was poured out on Christ. So you're not going to face the wrath. That's, and all of it, by the way, is God's wrath. All seven years is God's wrath. 
not as intense in the first half as the second? Absolutely. But all of it's God's wrath. Again, a study for another time there. Now, will we see anything? attacks on our soil before the rapture takes place. Just because we're not here for the global thing, are we as a church going to see something before the rapture takes place and we're delivered ultimately from the global judgment? I think it's entirely possible, and and I think it's likely. Well, what's the purpose of that? Well, I think twofold. I mean, I think the church is, as a whole, sound asleep. We're not... And especially in this country, again, these things are specific to this country. And I think as a whole, the church is sleeping. And uh, maybe a wake-up call for the church, hey, come on, I'm, I'm coming back. You need to be about the Lord's work, sharing the gospel with as many as you can. Do you want your family and friends to go through that time period? Do you want them to miss the rapture? Spread the word of God. This, you know, When we read Revelation 6 or 19, Matthew 24, or Luke 21, Mark 13, all of those, that should, we should be praising God that we're not going to be here. But it should put a sense of urgency in our hearts to tell other people, come on, you need Jesus Christ as your Savior. Something big is coming down the pike, and I think it's coming very, very soon. And again, I don't know the date. I personally think before this year's out or sometime next year, big major stuff and major changes for the United States. Be, I, I think the United States is going to be brought to her knees, is, is what I think. And I think that could happen any time between now and sometime next year. But again, I'm not prophesying that. So you people who want to point things out, I'll have you said it. No, I, I didn't say anything was prophecy. That, that was my opinion. So just understand that, please. So I think we could see stuff. I, I think we could clearly see stuff before we go. So So when something does happen major on our soil... People freaking out looking for answers. You have the answers. If you're born again, you have the answers. Point them to the gospel. Point them to Jesus. Tell them these things were prophesied to happen. Things were going to get worse and worse towards the Lord's return. Evil men getting worse and worse. Iniquity will abound. The love of many wax cold. The church is falling away. All of those things were prophesied to happen. So you have an opportunity right now to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Now is the time you need to do that. That's why between waking up the church and and something you know and, and us leading people to Christ, I can see us seeing some of these things happen before the rapture. And again, we won't be here for the judgment, ultimate global judgment. We won't be here for that. Guys, what I, what I want to do now is just simply share a couple of scriptures. Share the video with whoever you want. I want to I want to share some scriptures and the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the power of God into salvation. We need to share that message. Uh, it's Roman three, Romans three twenty three. For all of sin to come short of the glory of God. For all sinners, I'm no better than anybody else. The Pope, Mother Teresa, they're not better than anybody else. They've sinned. They need a savior. We've all sinned. We've ro we've all broken God's laws at some point. You break one point, you're guilty of them all. James two ten. Uh, what's the penalty for that? Romans 6, 23, for the wages or the penalty for that is death. But remember, the gift of God is eternal life, but it's only through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is no compromising that. There is no other path other than Jesus Christ to get to heaven. There's no other religion. There's No, no. it's it's Jesus Christ. And he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. I'm not going to compromise that, and nor, nor should you. So there's John 3, 16, of course. What's the motive behind all of this? If we present the gospel of Jesus Christ as we should, it should be a very inviting message. If it's judgmental, if it's about somebody beating you over the head about you not keeping the Ten Commandments, they're not presenting a biblical gospel to you. Shame on them for doing so. I've been around a lot of them. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The motive is love, guys. Jesus loves you. He wants to give you eternal life. His righteousness will be put into your account. It's nothing you can do. There's no good works that you can do that's going to get you to heaven. It's a free gift by grace. You don't earn it. We, we haven't earned anything. It's not like we've, we've done something to, to earn that. It's a gift. So I want to read 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, 
I do declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I have preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. For I, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That's the gospel message, guys. It really is that simple. And if you put your faith and believe in that, in Jesus Christ, you will be saved. You will be born again. And you need to be born again, or no one's getting in. I'm going to read one more passage to you, Romans 10, 9 and 10. What do I do? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. That's it. Now, the prayer. You you can say a prayer all you want to, but that scripture that I just read to you is very clear. It's with the heart man believes unto salvation. You get, the sinner's prayer is fine as long as your heart believes unto salvation. I said the sinner's prayer two times before I actually got saved the third time when I actually said the sinner's prayer and meant it with my heart. So don't let someone dismiss the sinner's prayer because... You know, someone else, I, I understand that saying just saying a prayer isn't going to save you. I get that, and I believe that. Because I understand that says it's with the heart man believes unto salvation, but with the mouth the confession is made. So it's, our, it's a condition of the heart is, is, is what that's talking about. That's pretty much it. Guys, it's a short video. Um, I cannot emphasize enough. Get ready for what is coming. Something big is coming, and it is coming very soon. And I think it's going to be quick. It's going to be sudden. It's going to be shocking. I put out a video years ago, something about the Lord put out in my heart about shock and awe is coming. Anybody's given us plenty of time and warning to get that word out. There's a lot of people on YouTube now, tons of people. Even since I've started, there was many before. There's even more at now that are trying to put the word out to warn people. Get ready. It's coming. And I think we can all take a look around, whether you're... Christian or non-Christian, and say things have not been right. Something big. I've heard I've heard non-Christians say that something huge, something ain't right. Something big is coming. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The Holy Spirit is out there right now doing His job, like He always has been doing, convicting hearts of sin, righteousness, and judgment. That's what He's telling people, and He's telling people He's impressing on their hearts the, the righteousness of Jesus Christ, the sin that's in their own lives, and the judgment that is coming and that they are currently abiding under should unless they get saved. So again, share the video with who you want to. Um, you can get ready for what's coming. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your homes. Um, this election time is just, a, like I said, a few weeks away. And I, again, I just think sometime around you know then and, and inauguration of next year, things could probably look quite a bit different for our country. So God bless you guys. Um, Jesus is coming soon, so let's keep looking up because our redemption draws nigh.